hello everyone welcome back to this channel in this video we are going to learn how we can create the most used profile in reddit and believe me we are going to save a whole lot of time with this open your reddit and create new families select profile first of all set your unit for creating profiles the only option we have is this line here select it and for creating our first profile we are going to create a circle just do it here you can create a parameters for it select your circle click on this one select this and create new parameter from here name it and okay now you can just change it whenever you want save this profile create new project and just load this to this project we are going to test them later now that we created this circle let's make it a pipe sometimes we need to give thickness to our profile just create another circle here the easiest way is to change this to another parameter and with controlling this we can control our thickness so let's give this five and this six Perfect. Save this as another family and load it to your project and start new one. So go to create, select your line, select rectangle and create a rectangle here. First, we are going to create our square. So select a line, click on here, center line and here and make them equal. And do this for this side as well now we need to create parameters for this side and this side select them create new parameter let's call it length okay save this square as a new family and load it to your project for our next profile which is a rectangle we are going to do the same process that we did here but with different parameters for its length and width so delete this go to family type and delete this length as well go to create select line and create new rectangle here set dimensions for them make them equal create new parameter for this side and another one for this side and as you can see it's working uh, you can also create thickness for this and it is exactly like the one that we created for that circle so create another rectangle and create dimensions for it let's make a parameter for this With controlling these two lengths and widths for each rectangle, we can give it a thickness. So, save it. Now, load it to your project and delete it. And delete these parameters as well. The next profile that we are going to create is a classic one. You can use this in your walls for decorations for your railing there are so many situations that you can use this so select your line and like create it here don't forget to close your profile go to create again select line and select this fillet here you can either just fillet them this way or the opposite side. To controlling these shapes, these classic shapes, you need to create reference line and locking them. For example, if you want to control this area, you need to create a reference line here, which we have, and you need to create another one for here. So you can give it an annotation, a measurement, and then you can just turn it to a parameter so and for controlling these fillets you just need to select them and click on this little parameter we did it for our first profile so 
You can also use this technique creating fillets in the corners of your shape in your rectangle and your square. Just fillet their corners and turn them into parameters. So let's save this. And load it to your project. Now let's just test them. Go to component and select model in place. Select generic model. Select your sweep. A sketch path. Create a path select this. For having a sweep other than path, we need to have a profile. And we have loaded our profile here. You can select them in this part. We have our circle profile classic profile and pipe, rectangle, square, they're all here. It's better to load your profiles before you create your sweep. But if you didn't do that, you can load them from here. Now let's go with our classic profile. Select it and as you can see, it is here. It finish and this is what we have. If you want to change it, select your sweep, click on edit sweep. Change your path if you want and sketch another path here. And if you want to change your profile, select your profile. And from here, just change it to, let's change it to pipe. And hit finish. And our pipe here. To control its dimension, you need to go to your project browser and find your profile in family section find the profiles that we created this is our pipe profile so we're going to go to pipe profile open it and select it right click on it select type properties and our diameters are here change the numbers and your profile will change so yes that's it i hope this video was useful for you and you enjoyed watching it if you have any questions or comments, just leave them in comment sections below and I will try best to answer them. See you soon!